this edition of Geek Culture Unboxing. Today we have an art edition. We are talking about artist Darren Tan. You can find him on Instagram and Facebook. He is an overseas artist. He's pretty awesome. Uh, my first exposure to him was these Star Wars prints, which we're going to show you. You've got uh, Darth Vader and Grand Moff Tarkin. And then on the other print, you have uh, Grand Admiral Thrawn, right? I said that right. And Darth Vader. And so when we, when we saw it, we posted it to Instagram and we also put it up on Facebook. I went ahead and ordered the prints and some bigger prints that you see framed in the background, which really made me happy. I had those framed as soon as those came in. They're very nice prints. Matter of fact, the prints that we have in the little protective case are really nice. They're a, a gloss finished print. Not the traditional prints that you see at, uh, at conventions. It's actually got a very nice gloss finish. So really nice prints for 20 bucks a print. I mean, compared to what normal con goers buy for 20 bucks, I'm, I'm really impressed with yeah. these prints. And they're signed, right? Yeah, everything that we got from him is signed. Uh, thanks a lot, Darren Tan. I really appreciate it. Really love the art. Hopefully you like how we framed it up. Uh, I worked with a professional at the framing store to, you know, get the colors that on the Thrawn we wanted the his red eyes to pop so we had the red in there and then we were still trying to keep kind of the Death Star theme so with with uh, Tarkin we had the black with some silver and yeah. it's really neat. Very beautiful prints, two beloved Star Wars uh, characters, you know, you got, you've got Tarkin and you got Grand Admiral Thrawn, of course Vader will always be there. Um, you were going to say something? No, well, you know, like on this print right here, uh, I, I just love the skin tone. The skin tone is, is just great. It, it, you know, like from here, it looks, you know, it looks tangible, looks real. Uh, Almost yeah. like it's going to come yeah. out of the paper. That, yes. that with the quality of the print that it has that gloss finish, it's almost yeah. like photograph. And I, would love, I would love to take these prints out for you, but the thing is, we noticed it because, because they have a glossy print, is that if we took it out, you're going to see nothing but glare. And that's why we kept it in the plastic. It keeps, it keeps that glare out. But it's, for me, it's a skin tone. The realism. Yeah, the realism. And then, and not only that, the folds on, on Vader's gloves. The, yeah. the tiny details. Yeah, the tiny, yeah, the tiny details. And, and then when you, when you saw those out before they were matted, I mean, it's even, it's even more, you're like, wow. And the thing with Thrawn is like, his seat, the yellow of his seat popped. And so when, when I was working with the framer, we were actually considering that, maybe using yellow yeah. as a border, as a mat. And so we ended up going with the gray instead. But um, the, the thing that I had told the artist is, I've got two of my favorite. You know, you've got Thrawn, who we're all waiting for him to actually be in a live action Star Wars movie because he's part of canon. And then we've had, you know, uh, Tarkin. We're missing the Emperor. And so when I talked to, after I had these frames, I talked to the artist and I said, we need Vader and the Emperor in the scene in Return of the Jedi where you have the window, yes. the round window. Yeah. That's it. That's my, that's it. I don't need any more Star Wars pieces after I have those three. I mean, that's it. I, that, that's my collection right there. The only other, the only other visual image of Vader that I really love is him walking in Hoth when he has the lightsaber and he's just walking into the snow. I've always, I've always loved that imagery. But for the three main bad guys, I mean, that's, it's just amazing. Yeah, it's a, it's a great piece of work. Great piece of work, yeah. great representation of, uh, of Vader. Um, the, you know, there's nothing about it. I'm not such a Star Wars nerd that I could tell you which helmet version of this is. You know, there's, you got the New Hope, the ESP, and the Return of the Jedi. For me, it's good enough. He's got Vader's red eyes. Same thing with the, the mechanics. You know, you have a blue and red. This one's got green and red yeah. on both of them, so. I don't, I don't get so nitpicky when it comes to art. It's just visually stunning, and I needed it for the set. And yeah, now we exactly. Have it. Yeah. So um, I'm trying to think. You geeks can again. You can find them online. Darren Tan is the name of the artist. That's what I was going to say. For me, the other Star Wars artist that's very renowned. There's actually two. There's Lawrence Reynolds, and then there's Scott Harbin. You guys recognize those names? No. But Scott Harbin is more recognized. And then there's of course the guy that did the original uh, posters for the first three. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to remember his name. He's been at several cons. I, I haven't had anything signed by him. But Are you talking about the original uh, uh, episode? Return of the Jedi. Uh, episode yeah. four, the first, five, yeah. six? Okay. Yeah. He did the artwork. He actually did the artwork for the sequels, but he's really known for that. And he was at Fan Expo uh, the last time that I went. I'm, I can't remember his name right now. I'm sorry, I'm forgetting it. 
but those are the three names to me in Star Wars. You've got Lawrence Reynolds, Scott Harbin, and then that gentleman, who I, it just his name eludes me. But uh, again, I feel like Darren's is very close to Scott's because Scott's has a real unique realism to it. Mm -hmm. But Darren, Darren's there. You know, to me, he's new to me. Maybe he's been around for many years, but when we found him, I was just like, wow, this guy is amazing. So keep up the great work. Thank you for these beautiful prints. And I am certainly looking forward to your Emperor and Vader in the near future. So for this edition of Geek Culture Unboxing, we'll see you geeks next time.